Hey guys, in this week's video, we are gonna show you what we carry in our Jeeps. Whether you're going out for a weekend overland trip or full-time overlanding, you're not gonna to wanna to miss this video. Also, make sure to stay tuned for a very big announcement coming near the end of this video. All right, so let's get started. Let's start with the essentials. Number one, this is probably the question we get asked the most. What do you do for restroom when you're out in the wilderness and there's no facilities? Well, this is called the Thunder Box and this is what we use. Um, it's very easy to set up, very comfortable. It's uh, designed and built in Australia. You just pull it apart and flip over the seat. Now we're in the rainforest if you've been watching our, our videos, so everything's covered in mud, but that's something you can't escape when you're working in the rainforest. But this is a very comfortable uh, toilet, and then we use, depending on the configuration, we use what's called double duty bags. We also have little bags that are biodegradable and can be buried. So that is the toilet setup, and then around this we have a CVT privacy tent, which is up on the roof rack and we'll show you how that looks all set up but that gives you privacy and comfort so that takes care of that question all right next is our front runner folding chairs a lot of you have asked about these these have been a game changer for us they're very comfortable they fold up nice and tight as you can see into a pack they don't take up a lot of space and uh yeah we love these moving right along if you've watched any of our videos you've seen us use this this is the original fire reflector but this is one of those comfort items we make a lot of fires for heat for warmth for cooking and just for sitting around and uh, what this fire reflector does is it reflects the heat back on us it also works as a windshield if you're on a windy beach or something and uh, it's just a great thing to carry and as you can see it's it's got some weight to it because it's it's metal but um, it folds in really thin so it can just slide nicely beside the fridge all right we also have a portable power station it's basically just a great lithium battery with the, the option to plug in your devices and this is an incredibly handy thing to have when you're traveling like us because we're not often near fixed power so this is the 100 watt solar panel this is the jackery 500 we're looking at getting the jackery 1000 it's a little bigger a little heavier but it also puts out a lot more power this is called the tailgater tire table it's a little bit of a tongue twister but it's a very handy piece of equipment it's about the same size and dimensions as the original fire reflector so the two fit really nicely in the back here I'll uh, demonstrate how we set it up real quick, but we use this a lot for get, giving us extra table space. So it goes on the back wheels and it fits on pretty much any size. These are 37s, pretty big tires, but it works great for that. Step one is just slide this out and it's got these little twisty knobs to hold it together. And then you put these down bars on, one on each side. Everything clips in nicely to hold it in place. And then there's a stabilizer arm down here. We'll loosen this off. And now you just make some adjustments to make it fit. So this goes over the wheel. You loosen these off until it's you pull it in until it's nice and tight. Tighten up on both sides. And that's it. All you got to do now is just make sure that's level and then crank that tight. And then you can put whatever you want on here. You'll often see us putting different things when Carol's cooking, using it for stabilizing our water jugs and so on. So that's a very handy piece of equipment. It fits very tightly into the back and it's something we use almost every day. All right, another thing we carry is our Mr. Heater Buddy heaters. We use these a lot in the tents, especially now that we're overwintering here in Canada the temperatures at night can get cold or, or on the island here it can get really damp and these things are great the uh, mr. heater is actually sent to us and they haven't arrived yet but it should be here in the next couple of days their new flex system we can't wait to get our hands on that um, those are the latest models 
and we'll be definitely showing you how we use those as soon as we get our hands on them but in the meantime these things have been a lifesaver uh, you know, some of you have asked how we dry things out when when everything is soaked we've had a couple of days of rain well we hang them up in our tents we get these heaters going and it really works to dry out our clothing but also to dry out the fabric on the tent no sooner had I said that we're waiting on the flex for mr. heater to arrive when I got a message that it had arrived so we went down to the post office and picked it up and here it is this thing looks awesome we can't wait to put it through the test over the next couple of months but it's actually got an electric ignition which is a really nice feature I'm just gonna go ahead and light it up and then crank her up there look at that instant heat it's about the same size as the other one just turned sideways um, incredible radiant heat already it's got some cooking accessories that we can't wait to show you uh, this is going to be a nice addition to the gear for sure so this is the base camp outdoor heater by mr. heater now it folds neatly into this package and I'll just show you some of the elements of what how it works so you've got your shower head basic shower head you've got your big heater here it works off of the green propanes like I was showing you with the heaters but you can also use the adapter and run it for a long period of time and then it's just a simple electric pump that you drop into a water source any water source and it brings the cold water up heats it on demand and you just go ahead and take a shower so it's really handy for this type of camping and doesn't take up a lot of space all right these are our front runner water jugs this is how we carry water we carry two of them in our current configuration sometimes three you can fill them from any water any clean water source or if you don't have a clean water source we've got this filtration bag and we'll have the information on this of course in the notes and we just uh, filter the water fill these up it takes about an hour and then we've got fresh water so when you buy these they come with a plastic spigot um, a little upgrade that you should do is go to the brass tap it is much more convenient works a lot better and uh, you're gonna really love these it's a great way to carry your water all right for sleeping in we use these Sierra designs uh, sleeping bags they're called nitro zeros bottom end of the temperature is 2 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 17 Celsius typically we'll leave them in our tents so when we fold down the tent they stay in there but because we're on the island we get a lot of rain we're taking them inside uh, to keep them dry so these are great for cold weather and if they do happen to get wet they dry very very quickly all right our friends at big tent outdoors gave us this amazing sleeping cover it's not a sleeping bag it's it's more like a, a duvet it's down filled extremely warm and comfortable it's like sleeping on a cloud it's made by a company called Nenga if you want a very comfortable sleep and you do a lot of outdoor camping uh, tent camping this is a must-have all right we get a lot of questions about how do we keep our clothes organized and separated and how do we pack them and carry them with us we use these uh, black hole duffel bags by Patagonia we've had them now for four years at least we traveled them all over the world with us and we color-coded everything we have five of them all different colors so we know where our stuff is at all times they're water resistant not 100% waterproof but uh, they've held up there there's no rips and tears on them and they've been thrown around in airplanes and then up on the roof racks and all kinds of stuff so we're really happy with these another essential that we carry is our lighting especially this time of year when it gets dark so fast um, we have all kinds of lighting here it's all by a company called Claymore and it's distributed by Big Tent Outdoors as well so we have headlamps these we wear on our heads when we're hiking or around camp that's very convenient and then they have different configurations um, of lamps these ones can be hung anywhere and they completely light up your kitchen or whatever area you're in and these batteries are incredible they last very a long time you can also charge a small device from the battery in here like a, a cell phone so that's extremely handy and Claymore has all kinds of different sizes of lights something like this is just a clip on it can clip onto your jacket or onto your hat um, and then we have the very large one which I'll show you and this is one you've seen in our videos a lot we use this around camp and it just goes on a tripod 
and so it's got three directions you can have it very bright or you can dim it down to whatever you're liking and then it just sits on this handy little tripod which you, you screw it onto the top and you can move it anywhere within your camp so lighting is an important consideration unless you plan on going to bed with the sun but uh, this time of year it's going down at 4 30 so we like to stay up a bit later than that claymore also makes a fan which is incredibly handy you've probably seen us use it there's a couple of functions in the winter when the wood is wet this helps you get a fire going it gets that oxygen blowing in the in the in the fire so that's really handy another way we use it is for condensation some of you have asked about how do you handle condensation within a tent or inside a vehicle the fan really helps to keep the air moving and if you open your windows uh, it'll uh, help reduce condensation and then finally these are great in the summer when it's stifling hot out this gets the breeze coming in and cools you down all right since we are traveling full time on the road we can't really stop at gyms all the time and we can't carry that much weight with us so i'm going to be going over the essentials of what we carry with us to stay fit while traveling uh, the first and probably the most important is our body weight vest. This can carry two 10 pound plates and this is very good for body weight workouts, calisthenics and just keeping maintaining strength while on the road. We also have a TRX system which is also very nice and important. Um, this allows us to do a variety of awesome workouts and it packs up really small and can attach to the roof rack or to tree limbs anywhere you uh, need it. And then the two last things is just a ground mat or a floor mat. We are often in the woods and or in a campground like this where it's gravel and you can't really lie down. So that helps give us some cushioning. And then we also got jump ropes to keep our cardio up. And we also do a lot of runs frequently with or without the body weight vest. All right, so I'm gonna show you eight things that we carry that are essential for on the trail. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is our MyMedic Medic Bag. This is a vital piece of equipment, especially when traveling off-road, because you always have to prepare for the unknown and the unfortunate event that can happen if you get hurt, you have to be prepared with some sort of medical equipment. Our MyMedic Bag is conveniently placed right behind our headrest so we can easily access it while on the road, and it has all the basics for any sort of minor trauma. Next is our worn recovery bag. So this bag comes with all the basics for having to winch yourself out or do field repairs while on the road. It, it all fits in its own little bag and we have it in a compartment in our Goose Gear platform. It, it just sits under there until we need it and we can just pull it out and it's got just about everything we need from duct tape to tow ropes and soft shackles and tools to make any sort of minor repairs or get us out of a sticky situation. Next is our ARB tire repair kit. So this little repair kit has the basic needs to repair a punctured or cut tire while on the road. It's just got every tool you need and all the little pieces to fix a tire. Um, we haven't had to use this for our own wheels, thankfully, but um, I've done it on some other people's and it, it really works. So it's something essential because there's nothing worse than a flat tire. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna show you is our three tools that we use to clear the road and to split some firewood when we're at the camp. It's a, we have a hatchet, a little, machete and a fold out saw. The saw is one of the most important pieces for trees that are in our way. We are really looking at getting something like a battery operated chainsaw which will just be a basically a better version than these but these are kind of essentials for when you're at a camp or getting to one. All right so the next thing I'm going to show you is our front runner monsoon bags. These are watertight bags that we carry on top of our roof rack that carry some extra gear that we have that can't get wet. They've done extremely well and uh, yeah, as you can see now, they're pretty faded. They've seen a lot of use. Front Runner actually has come out with a new bag that's slightly better than these. It's called the Typhoon series. So it's something we're gonna look at getting, but these have worked so far extremely well and they're uh, a must if you need to keep something dry and outside of your vehicle. So the next thing I'm gonna be talking about is our navigation. We use just our iPhone with Gaia GPS. We've used this for the past couple of years and it's worked extremely well for the trails we've been finding. I mean, if we ever find ourselves where we're lost, we have our Gar Garmin InReach Explorer Plus, and this has our exact location, coordinates, and everything else. So we use that not only for that, but um, communication when there's no cellular anywhere. We can contact anyone, and in, the, in case of an emergency, it's got the SOS button. For that as well, we also use our Spot Gen 3. We have this in Vandy normally because its only function is to either send, send a preset uh, message that we have in there or an SOS. So we just keep this for absolute emergencies. 
And lastly, I'm going to talk about our communications between Jeeps and when we're at camp. We use a Midland X-Talker. These are uh, handheld GMRS radios. These are really great. They can uh, we can talk from pretty long distances, longer than we're ever going to be separated in most cases. And it's nice at camp to just have any contact if we want to go out on a short hike or just scout around. We can still keep in contact with base camp. And then also for just short communication between vehicles, we use these often. Welcome to our kitchen. I'm going to be talking about a few things that we think are necessary when out overlanding and camping. We'll start with the cast iron. I love using cast iron. It is an epic way of cooking over the fire or anything like that. So up here I have the Lodge 3-in-1, which is really, really good for bigger groups and big families. And then I have the small table scottle back here behind the coffee maker. And that is perfect. You guys have seen me use the other scottle by Tumble Task. And that is when we don't want to have a lot of dishes and we want something fast and fun. So that's a, a great addition to add to your kitchen. Um, then I also use the front runner for all for holding all my gear. And that is the front runner uh, wolf packs. And they have the lockable, you can hear them snap like that. They can stack up and use as tables, anything else. They're perfect. I use the, I think I have five of them in here, and I do it kind of in order of, I know this is my pantry canned goods, this is like cooking goods, sugar, and everything else. Then this one is all just cast iron, and this is just morning. So I know this will have like say, in this example, it has my toaster, coffee, um, grinder, um, frying pans, plates, everything just for morning time to make it quick and easy and then the one behind that is extra pots and pans and plates and cups. I love using the Aerobee. We have put this through the ringer. I mean as you can tell the handle's broken everything like that. We absolutely love the fridge freezer combo and we also carry the new Snowmaster and Worsley. So this having the dual fridges really helps with the big family and not having to go out shopping as much. So one of the last things I'm going to mention is our front runner cutlery set. I love this. I put the front runner strap to hold it around here just because it's perfect. Um, you just flap this over. It has everything you need, quick and easy. So like say if it's dusty or whatever, I can put that when I'm you know, cooking here. But see, it just kind of folds up like that, perfect. And I just slide it up there up on top and away you go. It keeps it all nice and clean. That is probably the top I guess four or five things that I love about this kitchen. So since it's one of our last days here in Tofino, I thought making a fish chowder would be perfect to end our time here. And we're making some biscuits over the fire, which will go well with it, I think so. But it's just a basic, um, some cod, some crab, shrimp, and then a few t uh, potatoes, leeks, celery, one onion, and some bacon. So 
this is that new tray. I'm super excited to try it out. So far it's working super good. I love it. Now I can use my stove top with my cast iron, which is great. It also started to rain. Shocking. But soup will be good. Perfect. Another delicious meal by Carol and the Epic Family Road Trip. Peter and Carol here from the Epic Family Road Trail. We just give you a quick update. Being a new year, we have new plans and ideas. Um, obviously, we've learned to be very flexible over the last year. This is a weird time to be in a, a travel YouTube channel because your plans are constantly being changed, but we've kind of grown accustomed to that, at least for the time being. And like you, we're looking forward to when everything goes back to normal. But for now, we, we have some really exciting news to give you. Very soon, the, the, the three kids are going to be working at an internship, a training program with Clay and Rochelle from X Overland. If you guys don't know who X Overland is, you gotta go check them out, but I'm sure you already do because they are the pioneers of this whole overlanding thing and some of the earliest uh, to put out adventures on YouTube and they're just excellent people and very good at what they do and so the kids are honored and excited to be able to go work with them and to learn from the best so they're going to be doing that for about a month and a half coming up and uh carol and i will be empty nesters which is also another <laughs> brand new chapter for our channel and for our family so uh, lots of exciting things coming up um carol's probably more nervous than i am uh, yeah, about I so. uh the kids taking off and but she's also very excited, I'm sure. I'm super excited. This is gonna be a good learning opportunity for them to be with the best, be around people, like-minded people, and learn more so that we can give back to you guys. We've only been apart from each other for like maybe a week at a time. So this is Over two, the last five years. <laughs> over, well, I think forever. Um, so this is gonna be new for us because we're used to going to bed, you know, hearing them talk or laughing, staying up and, um, just cooking and eating exploring together. So it'll, it'll be really different, but at the same time um, It'll be nice to spend time with Pete and learn new things. We're gonna be filming Doing a lot of that. Yeah, so. we're gonna keep bringing adventures to you and hopefully they'll be able to we'll be able to collaborate and They can send us what they're doing what they're training on and working on so they're gonna be doing video editing storytelling and uh, videography which Caroline has really been working, as you know, uh, really honed her skills over the last couple of years, and the boys are looking forward to uh, doing more of that and really learning uh, so that from Clay and his team so that we can continue to bring Epic Family Road Trip episodes to everybody. We're on the beach here, and we just got to move out of the way. <laughs> Woo! The tide's coming in. This, uh, if you uh, haven't seen Tofino, we did a video a couple of weeks ago on this right here in this area and this week we're going to showcase some of the the beauty of this place to you know there's been some travel restrictions and so we were to uh, follow what was recommended we hunkered down in this one place and we haven't done that in five years we stay in a place no more than two nights three nights um, a week if we really love it and uh, we've been here now almost all winter so this is uh it's been it's been different for us very unique and we hope you've been enjoying the adventures here on the island. Um, and I hope this update uh, kind of gives you an idea of what's coming down the road. A lot of very, very exciting things. Some stuff we can't even tell you about yet, but uh, as soon as we can, we will. And in the meantime, we'll see you down the road.